right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Habib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Habib Nurmagomedov, he's the guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly, and when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training, oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do in the octagon. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is gonna look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 241 pounds, fighting out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, Kid Dynamite. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomedov! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up or are you just expecting them to stick to a to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. Uh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It, All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward. In this he fight. felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Beautiful punch. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Just unable to quite find that range. Knee to the body there. That one, no blocked by Numago Just misses with the right hook. Nice loop and punch. Flips the punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Superman punch. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. So just over 20 total strikes. Fantastic timing for that move to take out. Midway through round one. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Ooh, big shot land. Ramako Medov gets in the clinch yet again. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. He's just missing on the uppercut there. Ramako Medov gets stung by that leg kick. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Oh, single collar tie here. Nurmagomedov's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Up, oh, you go down as another takedown attempt land. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a 20 from this position. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nurmagomedov. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cuppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike. The record is on up. repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. Making all these shots count. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Big punch land. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, spinning back fist. Body shot there. And follows up with another one. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Right hand on point. Man, that cut has really opened up. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left and right there that previous round. It's going to be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It right. was always something different, but it always led to his opponent getting great top position. Great punch. Oh, 
Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being act level. Two. All right, so a high amplitude two double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Well, he's got his back now. Nurmagomedov's back in full now. I mean, how many can he take? To try to establish that jab. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Spinning back fist. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Just out of range with that strike. There by Nermago Meta. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nermago Meta. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand up. He's developing the skill every single day. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Nurmago Medov gets the takedown. Could be big here. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, has the guard closed here? Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Nermago Meta. Punches blocked. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well-timed overhand there by Nermago Meta. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Ten seconds. Liver kick. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it death with the right time. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? 
they meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job Let's in the go. previous round, largely go. untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Nice punch by Nermago Meadow. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And they separate. Single collar tie now. Fantastic takedown win. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up to see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really. Oh! Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Just in the single collar tie. There's the double leg. Nice entry into the finish directly. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Nurmago Medov's going for the sub here. Oh, he's got a choke. No, that's oh. supposed to an inverted triangle to try to get the finish. Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. No way. His opponent had to tap from an inverted Triangle, this is not something we see very often. Well, I don't determine who wins the bonuses, but when you execute an inverted triangle choke like that, 50 G. Pay that man. Pay that man. He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. So, yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep. Perfect technique, and ultimately, that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a reverse triangle. Happy the Eagle all right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight.